the track stand is an absolutely essential cycling skill. Knowing how to track stand is going to save you a bunch of time in traffic and slow speed situations because you won't have to unclip and clip back in again. It will help you to improve your balance on the bike and I think a track stand just looks really cool too. If you get really good at them, we might even teach you to do a no-handed one. I won't be teaching that module. So how do you get started with a track stand? Well, the best place to learn is away from any traffic, so find somewhere like this park. You also want a slight incline. This will give you something to put a bit of pressure on the pedals into so you don't roll backwards and you don't fall off. To get started with a track stand, roll in slowly and gradually roll to a stop on your chosen hill. If you're just starting out and you're a bit nervous about whether you can unclip in time or not if things go wrong, this is maybe a skill worth learning in trainers at first. As you roll to a stop, you're going to turn your front wheel. Most people I know, myself, turn the wheel to the left. So that means I turn my wheel to the left as I'm coming to a stop and I lead with my right leg. So at the moment, my pressure, forward pressure, is going through my right leg. My left leg is holding things still with the help of the gradient of the hill. So I'm pushing forwards just enough to maintain a still position against the gradient. Another thing that you'll develop as you get better and better at track stands is being able to do them on flatter terrain. And this is the thing that will make them really useful when you're riding at slow speed and in traffic. But before you do start to use them in traffic situations, make sure you're absolutely confident that you're not going to fall over because that would obviously not be good at all. Another thing to remember with track stands is you don't want to use your brakes. So you're not stopping as a result of your brakes. You can see actually you lose balance when you use your brakes. You're slowing and then maintaining the pressure to keep yourself balanced. So no brakes, pedal pressure. This is what happens when you use your brakes. Just totally lose any balance that you have. With your foot position and body weight dialed, you need to think about where you're going to look when you track stand. If you're gonna use this skill out on the open road, you need to be aware as possible of what is around you. So pick a point a few meters ahead and practice looking at that. So you're always able to track stand whilst not looking down at your feet you're track standing while looking ahead and remaining aware. You've got three choices when it comes to hand position, track standing on a road bike. Personally, I wouldn't ever go for the tops. I think it's a bit unstable, a bit narrow, and it's really difficult to ride away on the tops. The drops are fine. You've got control over the brakes and the gears there too, and it's easy to ride away. Personal favorite though, is the hoods. Nice and wide and stable, and full control over brakes and gears, and really easy to ride away when those traffic lights go green. So the key things to remember when you're learning track stands. Practice away from any traffic, that's number one. Don't brake as you're track standing, because then you lose your balance. Keep your feet level and keep the forward pressure on your front foot. And don't go out and practice it on the road until you're really confident that you're not going to fall over and fall into the line of traffic. If you'd like to learn five essential cycling skills, we've got a video on that right there. And. To see more how-to videos on GCN, check out our playlist down there. Finally, to subscribe, click on the GCN logo.